Hello guys, this video is made to be a tutorial for Warspear game. This game is available in wide range of operating systems, Windows and Android, and even on Linux and iOS. Link for game will be in the description. Once you download the game, you can just log in and make a new character. I would recommend a Forsaken Faction Death Knight character in US Sapphire server for starters as you can climb fast, and I can help any time with my chieftain there. First of all, I am going to introduce you the, the main storyline of the game, which is the quest part you need to learn to perform quests in order to gain experience, which is the main part of the game. Once you learn quests, you will know more about game details and how to gain more power and start. Your player vs player journey and other aspects of this entertaining game, you need some patient and it gets really interesting with time. First of all, to understand the game annotations, let's start with non-player charters, which is also known as NPC, they are charters inserted by game to interact with players to give quests and give rewards for every quest you make and we'll get to the use of those rewards later on. First of all comes the yellow examination mark which is an indication that a certain NPC have a new quest for, for you and it's necessary for storyline of the game. Then comes the green question mark which means that you have done a part of a quest and the NPC will guide with further instructions in same quest. A yellow question mark which means that you have completed a quest and this NPC will give you a reward for completing it. Now let's start with gameplay and how to level up your character. Once you create your character, you will start at the first camp of the faction you choose. In this case, we are in the Forsaken map. For each faction, there is different map with a different theme, but it's all the same idea of quests and same idea of gaining experience. And in game community, we call firstborn and chosen maps as the elf, because when game first came, they were only side with long ears and for Forsaken and mountain clans as MC, because that came first as you will understand with time that game is divided into two sides. Once your character is created there is a certain buttons in screen you need to understand first of all is your character itself it will be in a bale yellow name and you can move it by clicking any reachable area in screen and it will automatically move to it. The button on the down right side of your screen is the menu button which will give you access to your running quests and your character details and gears which you will gain upgrades within playing the game. Let's take our first quest. Once you click on an NPC with a yellow examination mark the quest will pop up you can just accept the quest then you can check the place of this quest throw the quest part in menu. Clicking map button will direct you to the map which in our case is forsaken your character will be an orange X mark in map and quests will be in green. Now you completed your first quest it's made to be very simple to gain the idea of quests easily once you complete a quest you will gain access for more quests as the storyline completes and it gets harder and more complicated but I will guide you guys through most of the hard ones in future videos. Now to complete our second quest we'll have to walk between multiple NPCs you can always find the next part of quest throw the map option in menu or the quests option. You can always take multiple quests at same time and complete them simultaneously to save time. Once you gain level 2, you will gain 1 skill point. For a death knight I would recommend the dark shield skill as it gives a lot of sustainability to perform quests in easy way you can level up skills throw menu character skills option. Now for third quest we will need to light up three lanterns around camp and return to NPC. Now we continue with gameplay and quests until we face the first common issue with new players.
The first common issue while playing the game is when you try to finish a quest and you can't because the bag is full, you can always walk to any shop, which is annotated by blue and map, and walk to any NPC there and switch to inventory and sell unnecessary items to make slots and gain some gold which you can use later to buy gears and weapons and more skills. I will let you guys enjoy the game. And Comments are open for any questions about the game and you can reach me out in game by adding killer to you friend list and direct message me. I will introduce the Death Knight skills and questing techniques in the next video. Farewell and goodbye.